Last night, my mother and I went to Jess's family's house, and we drank, and uh, I'm a little tired right now, a little hungover, but I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> hey. Hola. Come in. <laughs> how you doing? OK, how are you? Hungry. Well, this looks good. I feel like I'm in a good spot with Jess's family. I think I impressed them enough, and we had such a great time. But unfortunately, my mother got angry and upset. It was kind of awkward, so I don't feel bad about sending my mother home in a taxi back to the hotel. Ah, this feels good. So, did you have a good time last night? Mm hmm. I don't remember a lot of it. Yeah, I, I know. There was quite a bit of drinking going on. I don't think it's right that Colt had me go back to the hotel in a taxi. To leave me alone is uh, not right, especially because just she was very, um, she was out of control. I was a little concerned about a few things. Oh, like what? Well, when. Jess got very defensive. She put her hand up in my face, and all I did was just <clears throat> ask why she wants to get married, like, next week. Because we were with her family, I tried to pass it off and ignore it, but I did not appreciate it. And I, I, I saw a different side of her that re reminded me of someone else, and I didn't like it. If she does it again, I'm going to have to step in and say something, because I'm not going to have that. Very disrespectful. I was just asking a question. I barely remember she did that last night. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I didn't understand the scenario of what was going on fully. I thought you should at least defend me, so I... maybe say something, because it's very disrespectful to your mother. I'm sorry about last night. I just don't want to, I don't know anything about anywhere here, and I was kind of afraid, so. I apologize. OK. And, and just, have you noticed that side of her? I think when Jess gets a little drunk, she gets a little, like, more, like, more extreme, more happy, or more sad, or more angry, you know? Yeah. So I need you to pay attention to what these signs that are hitting you in the face that you're not acknowledging. So you need to know that they're out there. Yeah. I think that um, he's caught up in a situation where she's taking advantage of him. I think Holt is making exactly the same mistake that he made before. And I think she's trying to get a green card. You don't know her. You don't know hardly anything about her. Yeah. You did this last time, and when you finally got together, it was a totally different relationship. I don't know where this is all going, but I'm spending time with her now. But I don't understand why she wants to get married, like, tomorrow. Do you want to get married that quick? I don't know. I feel like I am the only one that's going to stop Colt from marrying her right away. I just don't, I'm afraid to leave them alone because I'm afraid they're going to run off and get married. And, and I don't think Colt is thinking straight. I can't stop thinking about why it's so important so quick. Pay attention to what Jess is doing. And See if she gets defensive, because I'm going to ask her again. I think my mother is overreacting about last night, and she's already decided that Jess is just bad for me. And at the same time, Jess has to understand that my mother's opinion about our relationship is very important to me. So I'm feeling caught in the middle. 